Hello guys, my name is Karan and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a double joystick for your mobile. So without wasting any time, let's start this video. So first I create my Unity project in 3D. When you open your brand new Unity project, it's look like this. I'm just drag my game tab here. So I can see scene view and game view at the same time. Go to the asset store, find this package and import it on your project. Click on the hierarchy and create a plane and name it. Also create a cube and set the Y position to 0 0.5. Uh, I just rename it called player. Create a separate folder for materials and create a material for ground and or player. Uncheck these two options and change color as you like and apply it by just dragging to the target object. Time to set up our camera, so just set a scene view and select the main camera and go to the game object align with view. For shortcut key, Ctrl plus Shift plus F. You can also manually adjust your camera if it's not look like what you want. I am creating a face for my player so we can identify where our player is facing when we rotating our player with joystick. Ok so create a canvas and change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size and change the reference resolution to 1920 by 1080 Find fix joystick prefab and drag it to the canvas. Set the position and rename it. Press Ctrl D for duplicate and change the position right to left. This one is our game joystick. Now it's time to write some code. So create a new C sharp script called player and open it up in Visual Studio. Delete these two using methods. Uh, it the first thing I reference my move and aim joysticks. Create a vector 3 called move velocity and reference a rigid body called RB. Create a float called move speed and another float for fire speed. Create a start method and under this method just get my rigid body reference. Creative update method under this method or move velocity is equal to new vector 3 move joystick dot horizontal comma 0 for y and move joystick dot vertical for z axis. Create a new vector 3 move input. This one is equal to new vector 3 move velocity dot x comma 0 comma move velocity dot z for z axis. Create another vector 3 called move direction. Our move direction is equal to our move input dot normalize. Multiply with our move speed. Now our rb dot move position is rb dot position plus move direction multiply with time dot delta time. Save the script and go back to the unity. Select the player and drag our script to the inspector. Now drag and drop our move and aim joysticks. Add a rigid body and drag it to the script. Move speed is 5 and hit play. Great, our joystick is working. Back to the script. Create a new vector 3 aim velocity. Now go to the update method and uh, here my aim velocity is equal to new vector 3 aim velocity dot horizontal comma 0 comma aim velocity dot vertical. Create another vector 3 called move aim input. This one is equal to new vector 3 aim velocity dot x comma 0 and comma aim velocity dot z. Create a vector 3 called look at point and transform dot position plus aim input at the same time vector 3. We need to use transform dot look at function and passing our look at point here. Save the script and back to the unity. See, now our player can rotate with joystick. It's time to add a shooting logic. We need some variables for shooting like public game object bullet prefab, public transform fire point. Go to the shoot method and create a new game object and instantiate a bullet prefab fire point dot position and fire point dot rotation. 
one digit body component in my bullet and add a force set multiply with pi speed under the update write if input dot get mouse button down call shoot function here save the script and go to the unity and change the fire speed and select the player and create a custom gun and fire point now drag and drop our fire point into the script create a bullet and just use a QO for it change the size a little bit change the name and add a rigid body component on it Make it a prefab and delete this from the Harad key. Drag this bullet prefab into the script empty slot. And just do one more thing. Select all of our player child object and remove the box collider on it. When I hit play, you can see I can shoot bullet with mouse click. I just play around with these 5.5 speed values. Now go to the script, comment these lines because I want to use my aim joystick for shooting. So write if our aim joystick dot horizontal is greater than equal to 0.6 and our aim joystick dot vertical is greater than equal to 0.6. It means you just scratch your joystick handle to the joystick bottom boundaries and call shoot method inside. This one is working only right side of the joystick. For the left side, write else if copy and paste these lines and change uh, greater than to smaller than and add a minus sign here and call the shoot method. Save the script and back to the unity. So now our joystick controller is ready. You can see I can rotate my cube with the help of this joystick. Also I can shoot with it. You can change and play around with these values. I hope you like this video. If you like it, make sure to subscribe my channel for more game development related videos. I see you in the next video.